I was kind of overwhelmed in the beginning, like, you know, I'm just, just doing this for fun. It's just, you know, a, a small project right now. And it, it kind of evolved from there. This is one of the first pair of sunglasses that I ever hand carved about six years ago. Playing around with this tree branch in my backyard. And you can see the, the old hinges in here. They're stolen off the cabinet sink in the bathroom. I wore them down to the local skate park and everybody there, were just, they were just tripping on them. And everybody wanted a pair and trying to place an order with me and I didn't really know what to say at the time. We launched the company and two weeks later, one week later actually, we had over 200 pairs back ordered and it was just me in the shop at that point still. We've come a long way since the days when I was making these things all by hand. These machines here allow us to take a ply and cut multiple cuts out of each one of these, in turn keeping our styles consistent every single time. The fact that everything about these sunglasses is made here in America is very important to all of us. Every little detail, nose pieces, inch pockets, inch covers, it's all hand sanded and done one at a time by about 20 of us all together. There's nobody overseas doing any part of, of the woodworking process. As you can see by looking around, everyone who works here is pretty much under the age of 30. We try and find um, creative types, artists, musicians, skateboarders, to have a hand in the woodcraft process that we have going on here. It inspires this uh, sense of creativity that you don't really find anywhere else. It's a, a community of talented, hard-working people that are all striving for the exact same thing, which is to make these handmade wooden sunglasses as best as they possibly can. We take two 10-minute uh, skate breaks every day where they go out and they skateboard, get that creative juices you know, flowing again. Due to the high de demand that we saw from the very beginning, um, we had to adopt technology in almost every aspect of, of everything that we do, starting with manufacturing, um, design, R&D, we're going to need to stay more and more organized when it comes to ordering of raw materials, managing the production schedule, um, forecasting sales, and basically everything else that falls into the day-to-day -day operations. It's pretty crazy you know, to see something that came out of a little hometown where I grew up and then to hear stories where there's people in different countries and my friends will be traveling and they'll see them on somebody's face. It's like it's, it's gone global. There's a point where you get to where you sort of have to figure out how to, how to streamline something but yet keep that, that handcrafted feel to it. And that fine line is, is where you find success. 